right, in this video, I'm going to do a quick video comparison between the GoPro Hero 7 and the GoPro Hero 8. And I have it on a Pavo 30. And these are the naked GoPros. And I just put a little 3D print here just so I can mount both of them on there. Uh, so what we're going to do is I'm going to plug this one into a balance lead. And then the 7 actually goes off of the board. I have 5 volts coming off the board, so I'm just going to go ahead and plug it into there. Uh, one thing to note, I am going to shoot it in 2.7 because this version, the 7 right here, this one has a problem with EIS and gyro flow, whereas the other models, uh, most of the other models, especially the newer ones, do not. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in a 2K or 2.7K and um, so I can run EIS on it. That's the only way to get it to get nice and smooth. And then I'm going to go ahead and put this one with EIS off, the 8, and throw that in the hyper smooth also and see what the difference is. So the whole point of this is to see, I can usually find these uh, Hero 7s on uh, eBay or whatever for about $50 up to $100, uh, whereas these are a lot more expensive. But if you're just getting started out and you just want a cheap camera solution that you can do FPV, we're going to see if this is good enough for you. All right, let's go ahead and get in here. There's the light. Let's go ahead and get this one.
right, that's it for the video. Tell me what you think of the video quality between the two. And uh, if you think it'd be worth just going ahead and buying a cheap, cheap um, seven and buying the case for it in the back that goes with it. Or should you upgrade to an eight or even higher up to 11 for a naked GoPro? All right, if you haven't already, please like or subscribe to my channel and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.